Welcome back to our channel. In this video, let us write the Python program to find the probability of the knight to remain inside the chessboard after taking k number of steps. As we know, there are 8 possible moves for the knight in the chessboard as indicated uh, in the screen. They move in L-shaped direction. Now, let us consider the uh, board as uh, size 3 that is n equal to 3 which results in uh, index uh, top left is indexed to 0 and I am considering uh, the knight is also positioned initially at uh, this 0 index block. Uh, for k moments let us find the probability of the knight to be inside the chess. Uh, for k equal to 2, let us work out how uh, this can be achieved. As mentioned, uh, knight uh, by uh, original position is at 0th index and the probability at this place that is at k equal to 0, no steps were taken is 1 because um, the knight is within the board. So, probability is 1 for this position. Now, uh, when the knight moves, that is when k equal to 1, out of 8 possibilities, this 2 retains the knight within the board and the resultant probability is 1 by 8, that is 0 0.125 uh, for each of these 2 positions, uh, which is nothing but the 2 probabilities, uh, 2 positions which results in the knight to be positioned inside the board. Now for the next move that is k equal to 2 from each of these two positions there are two possibilities for the knight to move and their probability is 0 0.125 divided by 8 resulting in uh, 0 0.156 um, for the uh, knight positioned in row 1 and the same thing applies for the knight positioned in row 2 also. Uh, two possible uh, moves resulting in the knight to be positioned within the board. So now to calculate the probability, we have to have uh, at position k the sum of these probabilities will give us the overall probability for the knight to be positioned in the board. And here uh, the probability is 0 0.0625 which is nothing but the sum of all probabilities of the knights to be positioned within the board for k equal to 2. So with this uh, logic let us implement our python code. Summarizing the algorithm that we have seen so far, uh, there are 8 choices for the knight to move which is including the inside and outside the board. The second point is move the knight and check if it is inside and the third point is if inside the probability of the taking new position is 1 by 8 of the current probability and the fourth point is repeat the above point 2 and 3 for k number of times. So, with this algorithm, let us implement uh, dynamic programming in Python. As a first uh, point, there are 8 possible moves for the knight. So, I have the uh, moves uh, list with uh, 8 possible positioning, uh, 2 at the uh, bottom and 2 to the top and uh, 2 to the um, right and 2 to the left. So, there are 8 possible moves at any time for the knight which includes both inside as well as outside the board. Uh, before moving on to the uh, second step, uh, let me import the numpy so that I can uh, have the flexibility to use numpy array. Import numpy as np and as we saw in our example, let me first have n the size of the board as 3 and number of steps to be taken is 2 for the knight within this board 
and find the probability that the knight will be within the uh, board. With these values, let me uh, have the three dimensional array uh, to store the probability of each of these positions. So, probability array shall be initialized with uh, numpy array and let us initialize this with uh, 0. So, 0, 0.0 for a in range n as n is the board size and for b in range again uh, n for c in range again n. We are having three dimensional array. Uh, normally two dimensional array would be uh, used to hold the row and column of our board. Uh, the third dimension is included to hold the probability of the knight in that position that is in the row and column the probability value will be stored in the array. Hence, resulting in three-dimensional array uh, and we have initialized the elements by zero. As we also know, when there is uh, uh, no movement, it is of probability one because the knight is within the board. So, for uh, uh, k equal to zero, that is when it is not uh, no steps were taken. Let us update the probability array with value of 1. That is the probability when no steps were taken. At this point, let us print and see our uh, three dimensional array. As expected, we have the three-dimensional array and uh, the position uh, when the knight is not moved, that is k equal to 0, is initialized with the probability value of 1 in all these arrays of position, row and column. So, we have our three-dimensional array initialized with probability for k equal to 0. Now, uh, moving to the second point in our algorithm, uh, we will implement these things with dynamic programming method. So, it is flexible if I uh, define the function uh, called probability knight and it shall take the uh, parameters of initial uh, row and column as x and y. Also, it shall take the uh, steps. Uh, here, steps is nothing but our value of k. So, with this as uh, the input parameters, we have to move the ignite and check if it is inside. So, to move the ignite means move the uh, knight to the possible 8 positions and then check if uh, the uh, any of these things are inside. So, first for x in range n, n is the size of the board and for y in range within the uh, x boundary we have to check if the new if the new positions as defined in moves uh, list is within the board so if uh, the new value is between 0 and n that is x plus i is between 0 n and n and also y that is column uh, y plus j new position new mood new move position as provided by the moves is also within um, 0 and n 
if this condition is satisfied then the moved knight position is inside the chess so the next point is if inside the probability of taking new position is 1 by 8 of the current probability it also implies that if it is not inside the current probability shall be 0 so let us have the variable knight probability initialized to 0 that is it is it means it is not inside the board now after uh, the moves if it is a valid move that is within the board the knight probability shall be probability 1 by 8th of the current probability that is x plus i y plus j s minus 1 where s minus 1 indicates the current step that is before uh, taking this move what is the value divided by 8 so 8 1 by 8 the current probability we have to consider it now as our dimension uh, is about the probability of taking steps we have to repeat the above point for k number of steps so we have to start the uh, loop for each step that is yes in range of one two steps plus one where steps is one of our input parameter which is nothing but our uh, k value and if you also observe i am taking the range for yes starting from one not from zero because we have already initialized uh, uh, for zero steps the probability is 1 because uh, it stays inside the board and hence the probability is 1. So, yes ranges from 1 to the steps. Uh, since it has to reach till steps, I have taken steps plus 1 in the range. Now, this move uh, and check if it is inside if it is inside calculate the probability as 1 by 8 of the current probability is repeated for all steps and we can return the value after each move the probability is stored in our variable kb which has to be moved to our uh, probability array and then we can return the value as per the input parameter that is by passing uh, uh, the initial position of the knight in the board that is start x and y and the steps now let us execute this one and then check our uh, result let me call the probability knight function by passing uh, uh, initial position as 0 comma 0 that is 0 indexed in our uh, board of size 3 and uh, k k is nothing but uh, it takes the value of two steps as we see uh, previously the probability should be 0 0.062 for a k value with initial uh, position of the knight at 0 index in our uh, uh, board size of 3. Uh, let us see and confirm it. On execution yes we got the probability as 0 0.0625 as expected. Uh, now let us uh, take different values. Uh, let me change the initial position for the knight as 1 comma 0 for two steps on board size 3 again the probability is same 0 0.0625 uh, let us try increasing the size of the board and the number of steps uh, 
uh, where uh, n equal to 8 and k equal to 3 and initially the knight is positioned at 1 comma 0. Let us execute and see the probability of knight in the board which is 0 0.1992187 it's of accuracy level 8 digits. Uh, hope you liked our video. Uh, in the description, I have also provided the link for a minimum knight moves in the chess board to the destination position. Uh, please click the link to see the video. Also subscribe and share with your friends.